How to manage cloud costs from the ground up using the Cost Insights plugin for Backstage. Hi, I'm Tim, a platform engineer at Spotify. Cloud infrastructure allows our teams to develop and scale quickly. Of course, the benefits of the cloud can also be a drawback. It's so easy to spin things up that you can get yourself into trouble. We wanted a way to keep cloud costs under control, but we knew a top-down approach wasn't right for us. It would restrict the autonomy of our engineering teams, discourage experimentation, and ultimately hinder growth. Instead, we found that if we put costs where engineers could see them, cost optimization came naturally. Just another part of the everyday development process. So that's where the Cost Insights plugin comes in. Since it lives right inside Backstage, cost management becomes integrated into the daily work of engineers. Let's take a look and see how it works. The first thing you'll see at the top is a message about how your team is doing. We don't want teams worrying about cost unless it's a problem. In this example, there's one cost alert shown, but for a team with low spend, you would see a big thumbs up instead. This overview shows the daily cloud cost for the team. This is a high level view where you can quickly see trends and look for spikes in cost. But how can you tell if something costs too much? We believe the key is being able to compare cloud costs against business metrics. An important point we make is that cost growth is okay and expected. When your business is growing, costs will go up. This team, for example, has what looks like an alarming upward trend in cost. But if we switch to cost per daily active user, the story changes. The cost per user is actually going down. These business metric comparisons are configurable in the plugin so you can evaluate your costs against whatever metric is important to you. Next, let's look at action items. In this case, a certain project has spiked up in cost over the last quarter. To help troubleshoot the cause, we show the quarter over quarter cost change for each cloud product. Compute engine costs are clearly where we should look here. Graphs are great, but another way we make costs more tangible is to make the numbers more relatable. So here we show the growth in cost is equal to about one engineer. At Spotify, we found that phrasing growth in engineering time rather than sheer dollar amounts helps teams make the right trade-off decisions. We always need to evaluate whether optimization is worth the engineering effort. Finally, we have cost breakdowns for each cloud product that you care about. These are configurable as well. This example shows Google Cloud Platform, but you could just as easily have Amazon or Azure products here. For each product, we show cost comparison for the things you've deployed. For Compute Engine, we break down cost by service rather than per host. For data processing, we show pipelines. This is another goal of Cost Insights, to show costs in terms your engineers are familiar with. With the Cost Insights plugin, our engineers have discovered cloud optimizations that have saved us millions of dollars. We're sharing this tool so that you too can build cost awareness at your company from the ground up.